All right, is the mic hot? Check. Am I recording? Check. All right, we're gonna drop a double a double episode today, a double header, twice the knowledge in one package. So if you subscribe and you're gonna hear me twice. But this is what it is. Let's talk about modern day prophets, right? You know, I always thought in the Bible, you know, the prophets were there. Ezekiel, Jeremiah, John the Baptist, Jesus, <clears throat> Son of God, right? What are prophets today? Who are the prophets today? Well, they're still out there. They're prophets. They're teaching us a ton of stories. We don't realize it, but they're there. George Lucas, Stan Lee, they had concepts they're trying to teach us. George Lucas tried to teach us about the force, about force fields, about energies, about balance, about harmony, right? About a more civilized way to handle things. The force, our energy fields, our aura, our energy, that's the force. That was the prophet. That was the message from George Lucas. Feel the force. Be one with the force. Embrace your aura. Embrace your energy. Be harmonious. What does Stan Lee teach us? Stan Lee taught us about superhuman capabilities, superhuman powers. Mutants. Advanced humans, right? Is it really science fiction? Is it really a comic book? I don't think so. Humans are mutating all the time. Look at us. You could be on a bus with 100 people and no two people look the same. Is that funny? Even if you have the same color hair, same color eyes, we all look the same. We all can tell each other's faces. Facial recognition, right? Computers use that now. You know, there's some people that are born with web feet, web fingers, six fingers on one hand, 11 toes, a tail. Some people have high endurance. Some people are stronger, can jump higher, can run faster. Like Flojo, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson. Some people can move their bodies in a way that you can't move your body. Like Michael Jackson, man, I could never move like him, right? They're superhumans. They're mutants. We're changing. We're all mixing our DNA and we're coming up with more powers, more bloodlines, right? What are you talking about powers? Man, we all have powers. You know, it's like there's that door, that door to your true self. And there's all the stuff we put in the way, we put clutter, job, cars, vacations. It's really all distraction to get to your true self. You got to move that clutter away and walk through that door and embrace your power. We all have powers. What's my power? I'm a freaking X-Men. You know that? First of all, I'm bigger than average. I'm way bigger than average. I'm smarter than average. My bone structure is bigger than everybody. I'm a freaking mutant giant. My foot size is size 15. I am an enabler, as you would call it, in a psychology manner. But I'm really an amplifier. What does that mean? I amplify the people around me. I juice the people around me. I juice them. I give them amps. They get louder. They get stronger. They get better. They get Everything is better. Or, if I'm around a bad person, it gets really nasty. And really bad things happen. Because all I am is just an amplifier. I just boost your frequency. That's all I do. Whatever your frequency is, that's what it's going to be. I really have no control over it. I wish I did. I don't. That's my power. What's your power? Maybe you're analytical. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you're a musician. Maybe you're a good speaker. Maybe you're really smart with business. You know, not everyone is given the same gifts, right? We all mutant. We all change a little bit every time. How is it that two, a husband and wife can have totally different kids? You know, totally different from one kid to another. They look the same, but they act different. That's just our genetics. It's our makeup. It's who we are. It's our soul. It's who I am. So I'm going to tell you the modern day prophets, you know, the guy that wrote uh, Blade Runner and Total Recall. You know, most of these science fiction concepts we talk about, they come true within a generation, right? Star Trek had the little communicator, then we have flip phones, 
right? Uh, Star Trek had the little tablet computer. Now we got iPads, right? They're talking about creating gravity drives now using sonic energy, you know, flying saucers. I think those worked, right? I think we figured that shit out. Look, we all X-Men if you want to be one. If you want to survive a near-death experience, if you want to feel superhuman strength, if you want to have extrasensory perception, you have it. It's already there in your body. It's just in your brain, you got to unlock it. Can you unlock it? How? Meditation, prayer, focus, training, train yourself. You know, I believe I can do anything if I train myself. Man, maybe I'm not telekinetic. Maybe I can't do telekinesis. Maybe I can't read your mind. But I can boost your ass. And you know what? I can give you exactly what you want and watch you freak out because you don't know what to do with it. Then I see who you really are. I give people exactly what they want. Then they don't know what to do. They just want more. Why well, do I got so much power? And it drains me to boost someone. It drains the shit out of me. But I can do it. We can be better together. I can boost you. I've been boosting you. Right now. If you listen to all 14 episodes. You're boosted. You know shit you didn't know before. We amplify. I don't die. I multiply. I amplify. Right? I'm already dead. My heart's already broken. What more is there? Maybe I'm here to teach you. Maybe I'm here to tell you something you need to hear. Maybe I'm here to so you can move that clutter out of the way. Maybe you need to walk through that door and become an X-Men like me. And have power. Is that crazy? I don't know. I think it makes sense. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you're crazy for listening to me. Maybe that's what makes me special because I am crazy. I'm different. I think outside the box. I'm not in a box. I don't have a window to look out. I'm outside the box. I'm looking at the box from the outside. I see what's outside. I'm off that little rat wheel. I'm running around the ground. I'm going to see where the good cheese is. You know, I'm out. I'm a rotting off the chain. I go insane. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for Neo Savage. Right? Neo Savage is the X-Men. I'm going to boost you. I'm going to teach you that modern day prophecy is this. And someday you're going to look back at me and you're going to say, damn. There really are superpowers. There really are super humans. We all can be that way if you want. Move that clutter away from your door. Open your third eye. See what's really around. See the whole system. It's a system meant to blind you. You're watching TV. You listen to music. You're being programmed. Program yourself in a different way. Hack your own brain. You can do it. And right here, we started. We started with the first hack. So this is nine minutes of knowledge. You did not learn this in college. I never learned it. I learned it from God. And I'm out. It's all over. Boom.